this presentation provides some strategies for playing collegiate tennis. There are many opportunities to play college tennis. There are several different divisions of the NCAA. The best known is perhaps Division I, and within Division I, the Power Five conferences, which includes the SEC, the Big 12, the ACC, Big 10, and Pac-12. These conferences are well known as being fully funded, which means having eight full scholarships for the women and four and a half scholarships for the men. The other divisions include Division II and Division III, and in separate forms of college tennis are NAIA and Junior College. What makes Division III unique is that no athletic scholarships are offered. Some important dates, June 15th, after sophomore year, you can begin electronic communication with an institution. August 1st, before junior year, you can have in-person contact which will include unofficial and official visits. You get up to five official visits for Division I schools and one visit per school for Division II, Division III, and NAIA. Um, you have an limited number of unofficial visits, which just means that the prospective student athlete is covering his or her, her own expenses. Graduation timeline, you get five years for four years of eligibility. You have to enroll within six months if you want to play Division I, and within one year if you want to play Division II. How do, how do we get prepared? You need to be ready to submit all of your transcripts, your standardized test scores, your, potentially your school profile, and ultimately your diploma. Financial aid is also a good option if you're not receiving many scholarship options. Um, you can still play college tennis and be on financial aid, and each school provides financial aid differently, so it's important to do your research. The National Letter of Intent is a big deal. If you sign the National Letter of Intent, you are announcing your official commitment to a university. For schools that do not utilize the National Letter of Intent, sometimes there's something called a likely letter, which is an informal commitment to a university. Here's a table just giving you an idea of what you should be doing your freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year, how you can prepare. Ultimately, you will have to register with the NCAA Eligibility Center if you want to play um, collegiate tennis. We can talk more about deadlines uh, once you have a better idea of what you're looking for. Research and exposure. This is where we can really help. We can meet, look at your rating, look at where you stand academically, discuss your financial resources, and come up with a good list of schools for you to consider. What to send a coach? Again, this would be a conversation that we would have. We have some suggestions about how to increase your exposure or perhaps uh, how, to, how to communicate once a coach has gotten in touch with you. Expanding your search. Again, this is a long process when you're looking for schools and it's important to get feedback and to cast a wide net and be ready to add options or, um, or reconsider some of the offers that you have. The following is just a table um, on participation rates. 
and it shows you what the participation rates have looked like in women's tennis over the last 15 years. And also in men's tennis. For any more questions, we are available for consultations and, and to help you um, as you navigate this process.